Ooh, what? Oh shit. What's going on guys? It's your boy Ray here and welcome back to the episode of Bleach Brave Souls guys. And in today's video, I don't know, we're just going to be discussing uh, some of the new stuff that's coming out and while we do some accessory tickets just because I have them from the nightmare mode, the night mode mode. So we're just going to sit back, relax, talk and enjoy and uh, yeah guys, let's get into the video. Holy fuck, help me! So what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, today is the 20th of July, guys. 20th of July, 2018. And we have one more day to have a Bunkai livestream, guys. I'm super excited for the Bunkai livestream because... Well, of course you guys know because of the first topic. We got the new Ukiora, guys. And let me just get to the tickets so we can do the tickets. We're going to do this live in action. I can actually hear everything. So it's going to be... I actually hear what's going on. But guys, I'm super excited for this new Ukiora. If you guys didn't see the image yet, I'm going to have it on screen. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Everybody's made a video on it so far. Um, it just came out at such a late time for me. I also got home really, really late last night. Oh, a new item. I also got home really, really late last night, so I didn't have time to make it. Um, so I apologize, but God damn am I hyped for that new Ukiora, guys. He has white hair. His horns, they look like they're they're uh, like energy. They look like they're made out of energy, Ryatsu, uh, for his horns. Maybe it's just the image, but I know he does have horns because in the trailer he did as well. So I know it's not just energy. It has to be some type of horn, but it's weird. It's like a weirdish light green. I don't know. It's it just looks amazing. He has the Hogyoku in his chest. So does that mean he was resurrected? Does that mean this is a uh, canon form uh, that he could potentially be in, or is this just a non-canon um, Ukiora that is specifically just designed for this game? Has nothing to do with the story. Um, we don't know. Maybe this is Ukiora pre uh, Hogyoku. Like maybe Ukiora. This is before Eisen discovered him, but kind of doesn't make sense because he does have the. Speaking of Hogyoku, because he does have it in his chest. So I don't know. His, also, his picture at the bottom in the scan looks amazing, guys. It looks really dope. Um, something about it, it just... I already know the ultimate animation for Ulk is going to be disgusting, guys. Disgusting. And I just really can't wait to see his moves, his stats especially, and his abilities, guys. So until that comes out, I guess we're just left with that one image. But it's still, it's still so hype. And I really want to talk about how some people... I, I've been watching videos and I, I know some people aren't too excited, but you guys understand that it's not just it's not just Ukiora you should be excited about. It's the fact that Bleach Bracels is getting a specific character just for us guys. Like I mean we got the Ichigo last year, which was still amazing, but we're getting something even more so this year, like something never before seen. That Uk that Ichigo that we got was seen for like a second. He's technically canon. His moves aren't, but he is. But this Ukiora is not canon, guys. This is something Designed for us guys. That's an accomplishment on its own. People need to understand that. Yes, you might not be hyped for the character specifically, but you should be hyped for the concept of the character, guys, because it's just such a big accomplishment for us. And I want to shout out everybody for this, man. Shout out to everybody that plays Bleach Brave Soul. Shout out to everybody that supports Bleach in general. Shout out to James Hansen. Um, shout out to Platinum. Shout out to everybody that supports this series, guys. And it's because of everybody that it's gotten this far. So let's do this last ticket really quick before I Continue on to the next topic. Can we get a new item? Let's find out, guys. I know it's not going to be anything gold, but I want to see if we get something new at least. Okay, what does that do exactly? Uh, the headband. Um, let me just check with that. Though. So we got the nerd headband, guys. And this has a random chance to nullify melee resistance, and it goes up to 20%, guys. That is that's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, I definitely want to try this out um, in some game mode. So maybe we'll hop into a game and see how. So let's do our Brave Souls tickets as well. So guys, like I was saying, such a cool concept for us. We should be so proud of ourselves uh, to get this far. And I'm honestly so excited for this Ukior and for this live stream. I wonder if they're going to, I wonder if they're going to po potentially announce manga characters or if they're going to say that for something else or announce a step up summon, but I know there's a lot of big stuff that's gonna be dropping. So if you guys are excited uh, and you wanna watch with a few friends, well, I think me, Cowboy, me, Apocalypse, Spite, that's Sile, isn't it? Oh no, that's not Sile, that's uh, Charlotte. Um, 
we're gonna be we're gonna be in cowboys live stream i might stream as well we'll see uh but we're just gonna be having discussions it's gonna be like a pre live stream live stream so if you guys want to join i will post a video when we go live on that it should be around 6 a.m so i'm gonna have to get up for that but i mean it's gonna be worth it and i suggest you guys try to stay up or try to get up for that as well Anitaro. anyways on top of that choose a six star is coming out guys i know everybody's making like a choose a six star video but i really don't know what to do for that. anyways 10 ticket multi right here here we go eyes closed i can hear though so i mean it's gonna be a four star yeah that is a three star right oh can't say guys i mean i can't say i meant to say you can't get a fake fan um but yeah homies it's gonna be a good time uh choose a six stars coming out how i feel about that i'm not too sure uh like i said it's really it's really not the best for people like us who have most of the characters but for all you new players i'm excited for you guys to pick a new attribute to get it potentially get a new character i know on my jp last year i got super lucky because i ended up getting Tsukishima, which is a character i really wanted um and he was one of the purple picks but then i know on my global i got cucked i got all bad characters so i mean just expect the unexpected, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're looking or thinking of re-rolling, uh, this is the best time. This is the best time to re-roll is for uh, these anniversaries because you literally get a free six star every time you re-roll. A level 200 to start with. So how is just you re-roll if you guys really want to? Uh, that is the best time of the year to re-roll. So, and plus step ups is coming. I think step ups is coming. I wonder how they're going to do step ups this year. If it's going to be like the first year or the second year, if you guys don't know, um, the first year of step up summons, the way it worked was every day we would reset. So the first multi a day was 50 and then it was a three or 3% 3 chance. Then it was 150 for 5% chance. And then it was 200 for 10% chance. And then it was 250 for 13% chance. And then it was 250 for 15% uh, chance of a five star. And then you couldn't do any more multis after that. It was gone. Um, or, or maybe it stayed at step seven. I feel, I think it stayed at step seven. And then for the singles, it was just it was free. And then it went up to 25 being a 15% chance. And then you couldn't do any more singles. Second year came around. It was like, you go from step one to seven. And then at seven, it stops permanently. And it's only at seven which I did not like one bit because if you guys think about it, the first year we were getting a multi for 50 orbs every day. So even if you just wanted to do one multi a day, that was perfect guys. It was only 50 orbs for a multi guys. Um, it was it was probably one of the best times in my opinion. And plus they gave us uh, 450 orbs as a login reward for logging in for 15 days. But then last year they kind of gave us more like Hogyoku wills and Hogyokus, which I mean are nice and all, but I don't need Hogyoku wills, guys. I need orbs. Orbs are more valuable. You can farm Hogyoku wills. You can't farm orbs in a sense. Like you kind of can, I guess, by maxing characters or whatever. But farming actual orbs, orbs, you can't do that. So I prefer, I prefer getting orbs as opposed to stuff like Hogyokus, Hogyoku will, even a five star ticket. I prefer getting. Um, I prefer getting orbs in my opinion so i guess we'll see if they give out a six star ticket i wouldn't be offended by that because six star tickets are cool and all and we really don't get them often six star tickets are pretty rare you you definitely don't see six star tickets uh pop up too often especially because uh the only one i've really seen is either if you don't log in for a month and a half you get one or if you use your sankam on coins to unlock it but if you did you're kind of stupid because the aizen is a new character and he's one of the best links in the game right now that's why i haven't bought my aizen yet guys i really want to play as aizen but i have yet to buy him simply because i want to see what attribute ukior is and what he's like before i commit to a character because that can that could be a great link for for ukior i don't know yet right so regardless it's exciting guys a lot of cool things step up ukiora choose a six star a lot of cool things coming to this game and uh, especially the live stream so hope you guys enjoy i don't really know what else to talk about i think oh yeah something else that i remembered was in my video yesterday we tested last ditch survival rate and i said that i looked like retsu healed more it looked like she healed more because the hojiku zai but then when we tested it in in uh pve she didn't but it turns out it's a bug guys right now so in pvp guild quest and co-op quest when you die and you revive with last ditch the 
the Hojikuzai actually does give you the boost, but they're patching it. So try to, actually it might've been patched by now. So I don't know, abuse it, I guess as much as you can, as long as you can, because it's gonna be patched soon. But yeah, guys, that 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 was, so that was a bug and I did kind of catch that. So I guess that's the last thing I gotta talk to you guys about. Two more days, super hype, super exciting. Get your orbs ready, guys. I'll probably be at like 2,300 orbs hopefully by then. And I doubt that's even gonna be enough to pull anything, but we'll try our best, guys. Also, if you guys want me to do uh, fan summon again on your guys' account, let me know down below and let me know by leaving a like on this video and I'll see if enough people say they want me to do fan summons for step ups or whatever it is, then I'll do it guys. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy subscribe. If you're new, love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.